Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Travesty playing some Pillars of Eternity. Alright, I have some good news. Good news. The IE mod has been upgraded to be compatible with version 2 of Pillars of Eternity. Yes. So I now have it installed once again. Just to show you what my settings are. I do have the one tooltip at a time set. That's going to make the uh, name tags above the characters and stuff not visible unless you mouse over the top of them every time you tab so I really like that one blue selection circles yep now there's blue selection circles under all the NPCs instead of green ones and I also have it set to always show the circles so you're gonna see them all the time uh, I have the uh, combat inventory and loot unlock is uh, activated that way you can uh, deal with loot in your characters inventory during combat and all that stuff like that NPC disposition fix. I am using that. That is going to give Pelagina her uh, favorite dispositions. Right now, I got to set to diplomatic and honest, with aggressive and deceptive her uh, disfavored dispositions. Uh, fix moving recovery rate. Apparently, there was uh, uh, extra recovery rate added to your character as long as you were moving around. But a lot of times, you're moving around all the time, so it's I don't know. I just like it like this better. And I have the game speed mod on. I, I, don't, I never use this on camera. I do this off camera. But if you if you want to move from point A to point B on a map, let's say it's a long distance, if you hit the D key, you can move really you can move fast. But with this mod enabled, if you hit Control D, they move like triple speed, so they just move from point A to point B really fast. So if you're through an area you've been already and you don't want to waste too much time just moving across it, this is the mod for you. Uh, target turned enemies. This is actually new. If you have a uh, enemy that you have charmed or is confused or anything like that, they are no longer hostile. So a lot of your hostile affecting spells don't affect them, but you surely still want to kill them, do damage to them. This here actually allows you to do that. So any of your spells that affect hostiles will still hit them. So I'm going to keep that one. And fantasy names for backers. Yeah, this changes the names for the backers and down here it also disables the backer dialogue so if you click on those guys you won't even get the, di the dialogues from their from their background stories uh, yeah I didn't really care for that stuff anyways I just want to disable all that stuff alright I'm leaving this nerfed XP table disabled the per encounter spells mod I'm, I'm leaving that disabled extra wizard preparation slots I'm not using that cipher base focus this is this one gives you extra focus and stuff like that for your ciphers and stuff I'm not using that Auto save settings, I'm leaving it on standard. Here you can actually change it to shut it off altogether or change it by time or anything like that. But I'm just going to leave it on vanilla. And fast scouting mode, I'm definitely using that. This, this is the main reason I want to use this mod. <laughs> fast scouting, party line of sight. Now this is going to allow you to move faster while you're in scout mode instead of moving so slow. But as soon as you detect an enemy or see an enemy in line of sight, you will revert back to slow speed. So... It's not like you're cheating or anything like that, so I'm definitely keeping that on party line of sight. Alright, so that's my settings. What is it? And something else I think I'm going to do, I am going to deactivate completely hey. all the I'm combat ready. scripts. I'm just going to shut them I'm off. I'm here. I'm, you know, looking back <gasps> on it, it just makes the game, yes? I don't know, it's just way too simple. You have like... You don't have to control your characters at all during combat with those scripts on, because they'll just do everything. If you're very impatient, yeah, that's for you, but I, I prefer to control all my guys and cast the spells when I want to cast them, so <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. I shall be discreet. Okay, so we are here in Galloway's Maw, continuing on with this quest to find Sewell. This is dealing with one of these god quests right here. Apparently there's a an elder lion or something back here that's in charge of the place, but there's this elder bear, Oernos, who's tr trying to challenge this lion, but this lion won't fight this bear for some reason, so I guess we got to go back inside the maw here and try to find Sewell, the lion, and see if we can sort this out. Alright, so we're going to go of through course. here. Of course. So as you can see, I have uh, stealth mode going on and I'm moving a hell of a lot faster. But if you see enemy, you revert back to slow speed. Now here's a fine example right now. Here we see a bunch of lions and stuff. And as you can see, now I'm reverted back to slow speed again. So it's not like you're cheating or anything. And as soon as you don't see anything, then you revert back to fast speed. Which is, that's a beautiful mod right there, bro. <laughs> I love that mod. Alright, so let's get back into the game here. 
So what are we dealing with? We got a lion, lion clansman, lion clanswoman, and there's some plants up on the wall. I'm here. ready. Let's see if we can grab that. Well, okay, so we do have a trap. Maybe we can take advantage of this stuff again. Let's get a freezing pillar trap up. Maybe we can put it here without being seen. I don't want to get too close because they will see me. As you wish. All right, let's back up. Hey. All right, let's use some long duration buff stuff. Let's use some farmer spread on Adair. I'm ready. And let's use some beef loaf. Well. And let's fire up some mead. And let's go to the pistol. As you let's wish. Let's get in position. Oh, there's an elder lion right there. I didn't see that one. I think I'm going to go for that clansman, though. Let's see if we can target this guy here. Wow. Nice damage. Okay, now, let's go back to melee, and let's get back here. And let's use some war paint on Adair. Pelagina, let's go for some reinforcing exhortation on Travis. Sagani, let's go for some marked prey. Let's hit this other clanswoman back here. And Durance, let's fire up some armor. We can probably drop it right here. And let's go ahead and crank out some missiles. Let's see if we can finish this guy off back here. This clanswoman, I guess. And they triggered the trap. Nice. Alright, let's see, how are we looking here? Pelagina. Alright, let's go ahead and get a knockdown on this elder lion here. Pelagina, let's go for some flames of devotion on this lion. Travis, let's go for some withering strike on the same lion. And Sagani, let's go for a wounding shot on this guy here. And you know what? Let's crank out some more missiles out at that guy back there. Looks like he might be a caster or something. We gotta deal with him. He's near death, so let's hit him. And the Tulmok, just go for this guy. Alright, got his ass. Okay, they're, looks like they're dying pretty quickly. Hmm. I think if we step in this trap, though, we'll take damage. You know what? Let's see if we can maneuver back here. And Sagani, let's go for some wounding shot on this lion right here. And Adair, that one's still knocked down. Let's go for a knockdown on this lion. And Atumak, you go for this guy. Sagani. And Durance, let's fire up some interdiction. Let's drop it right here. And Pelagina, you can... Alright, let's see. Can we move behind this guy? Let's try. Pelagina, let's go for some Flames of Devotion. And let's fire up some Crippling Strike. Alright, that one's knocked down. That one's knocked down. Alright, looks like there's only one left. Got him. As you wish. Be cautious. Alright, let's constant. see what we have here. Just a bunch of stash material. Let's grab all that. And a lion skin or something. And what do we have here? Fine sword and some stash material. And a stairway going up. Hmm. Before we go up, though, let's look at the rest of this place. Ooh. Looks like we have a couple lines what is right it? here. As you wish. Let's go do a recon. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have any more traps, I don't believe. Nope. Alright, is it just the two, I wonder? Let's take a closer look. Nope, there's a third one. Oh, 
Oh, well, we have some traps. Wow, I can detect them from way out here. He's got a high mechanic skill too, though. All right. Let's go ahead and fire up. Oh, meat is still fired up. Okay, that'll work. Let's go ahead and just move into these guys here. Let's bust out the pistol. Let's take a shot at this well. one if we can. Oh, let's shoot this guy here instead. Endurance. Hmm. Let's go back to the pistol. Nice damage. All right, let's back up. Go back to melee. And let's fire up some buffs. Let's go ahead and get some armor of faith. And what do we have left here that we could possibly use? Let's go ahead and get some Discipline Barrage on Adair. Let's go ahead and get some Reinforcing Exhortation. And let's see, what are we dealing with? Lioness, Lioness, and a Lion. Let's see... Who do I want to target with you? Let's get some Binding Roots. Let's launch it at this one back here. And let's go ahead and fire out some missiles at this one since he's damaged already. Well, boy. And here he comes. Alright, that one's tangled up. Let's go get him. Let's get a knockdown. And let's get some flames. Actually, let's see if we can move for a flank. A Tumak, you can go for this guy. Sagani, let's go ahead and get some wounding shot. Oh, no. <laughs> And let's fire up some Arcane Assault, since it looks like these guys are going down pretty quickly. Let's see if we can drop it here. Oh. Okay, let's see. Flames of Devotion. Alright, that one's knocked down. Let's see if we can go for a knockdown on this other one. Tumok, you can come back here. Travis, let's see if we can go ahead and get some Withering Strike. Hey. All right, you guys, just go ahead and shoot this one up right here. All right, that one's near death, that one's near death. All right, let's go ahead and get some wounding shot on this one here. Ready, watcher. All right, they just went down. And everybody attack this one. All right, Travis, let's see if we can get some crippling strike in here. Collagena, let's go for some flames. And Adair, let's go for a knockdown on this one that just came back. Okay, let's go ahead and crank out some Interdiction. And Alof, let's get some Arcane Assault. Let's put it right here. Alright, that one's dead. Let's tear this one up. Oh, I love knockdown. Got him. As you wish. Yeah, I don't need no AI scripts, man. <laughs> Knock on wood. All right, a bunch of stash material. A blade in the dark. And some more stash material. What do we have over here? Some plants on the wall right there. Let's grab that. And some traps. Let's deal with this. It's finished. And let's take care of this one. It's finished. All right, let's take a look at the map. All right, this passage continues this way. What do we have up here? What's this, a dead end? Looks like it is, yep. All right, let's come back down this way then. Ooh, there's a damn brain right there. Oh, there's a clansman too. Alright, and a trap. Adair, let's go for some knockdown. Travis, let's see if we can go for the flank. The Tumok, you go for this guy. And Sagani, let's go for some marked prey on the same guy. Aloth, let's use some other spells. Let's go for Necrotic Lance. And Durance, let's get some interdiction going. Alright, damn, that thing went down quick. Alright, let's go for this clansman. 
And he's down. Wow, these guys are pretty damn easy. And some stash material. Nice and quiet. As you wish. All right, let's deal with this trap. It's finished. Okay, so here's the other side of that chasm. Yep. Let me guess. This says the same thing we read before. Yeah, we can use a grappling hook if we want to to get across here, but we really don't need to. Alright. I'll take a look. Well, we have two choices across a bridge here or up this way. I guess we can go this way. And we have a trap. I see something. And an elder lion. Let's go ahead well. and do a recon. And a clansman. A couple of them. Alright, let's back up before they see us. Okay, so we are running up on time, so let's back up a little bit here. Okay, actually we still have a little bit of time left. Let's keep playing. As you have about another ten minutes or so. We might be able to deal with this fight up here. All right, so well, let's take a closer look. Looks like we got two of these clansmen up here, another lion up there, and a lion here. All right, so we picked up some traps. We have a couple tanglefoot traps, and what is this? Gaze of the Adragon. Target becomes petrified. Hmm. Hell, let's try it. It's not doing anything else for us. Let's see if we can drop it right here for this elder lion. And let's bust out Mr. Pistol. Bring them down! Let's get it! Alright, let's back up. Alright, let's go ahead and fire up some Discipline Barrage. And I guess we should probably buff up too with some armor. Let's go ahead and get some reinforcing exhortation on Travis. Let's go ahead and fire up some marked prey. And some armor. And Aloth, let's go ahead and crank a missile down range. Hey. Trap triggered. Did he get paralyzed? Yep, he sure did. Right, let's move in on this guy. Let's put the beat down on his ass. Should be able to take him out. Got him. Oh, here comes his buddies. Well, let's go get him. Alright, let's go ahead and fire up some flames of devotion. Adair, let's move back here. Let's see if we can get a knockdown on this lion here. And a tool mock. You can go up at the same one. Travis, let's go back to melee. Let's move up here. Okay, let's see if we can get a, a decent flank going on here. Tool mock, you go for this guy. And Sagani, let's go for some wounding shot on him. Let's crank out some arcane assault in this mass back here. And Durance, let's go ahead and fire up some interdiction. Let's drop it in there. Alright, let's see here. Let's fire up some blinding strike. That one's knocked down. Pelagina, let's go for some flames. Well. And a tool mock, you can get in there too. Let's get some more arcane assault fired up. Let's launch it back there. And Sagani, let's go for a wounding shot at this guy back here, this clan's Alright, let's see, can we squeeze in here? Let's try some withering strike on this lioness back here. Adair, let's go for a knockdown on this one. And Sagani, you just keep pounding him. Alright, what do we have left? Let's shoot this clansman back here. Let's get a missile. Actually, can we get him? Actually, what else do we have? Let's get... 
concussive missiles. Let's launch that right in here. And Durance, you can go ahead and shoot this guy back what? here. Alright, I dare him. Yeah, yeah. Go. Oh. Everybody's stuck. Alright, let's move. Metal. Let's flank this guy. Crippling strike. Everybody hit him. <laughs> Tore him up. Yeah, we're doing really well. Eyes open. Alright, let's pick through the remains here. All stash material. Let's grab all that. And what's that? Elder Lion Fang. Yep. And we have some plants. Let's grab that. Of course. And what do we have up here? Oh, what is this? Hmm. Nothing up here. And we have a trap. There's something ahead. Alright, let's back up a little bit here. Let's get Travis up here to yes. deal with this. It's finished. As you wish. Anything else over here before we deal with this? Wow, this looks crazy. What the hell is this? A thick, snarled tangle of dagger-sharp thorns and vines has grown across this passage. As you look on, the entire wall of vegetation seems to move, almost like it were breathing. Thick coils of vines twist and writhe across the gap with a quiet rustle of foliage. Hmm. Examine. Through the gaps in the twisting vegetation, you catch brief glimpses of what seems to be a wide, circular chamber. From time to time, you catch sight of tawny hides, and the rustling of the vines is briefly obscured by low growls. Hmm. We could sneak through or force our way through. But you know what? Let's. There was another passage down here. Let's go check this first. Slow and silent. Yeah, we'll come back to that later. I'm willing to bet that's probably where Sue or somebody is back there. Ooh. And we have something else down here. Let's go do a quick what is recon. It? And we have a trap. Hmm. I see something. What else we have up here? Landsman and a lion. Okay, so now we are running up on time. So let's go ahead and do a quick save here.